I want you to write some words because when I, we had a break, a break is very helpful because people come and ask me questions. And when they ask me questions, I understand that I've not completed my job. So I'll please write down so that you understand how to deal with your problems. Okay, please write down. I'll explain that. William comes to me and tells me, before the break you said, our God is not a partial God. Our God is not a partial God. Now, I want to ask you a question. Have you got electric power running in your house? Is it you manufacturing or is it the electric board who has manufactured and given you that electric power? Correct? Now, does he give you the freedom to use? But does it also say that you have to use it according to the safety precautions? Come on. What if you abuse? What if you abuse, William? You might even die. So also in the kingdom of God, God has anointed each one of us to use his grace in the kingdom system. He has given you the system and he said, I have created you like myself and I have created this world by using a power called word. So when I use the word to create physical things, you also can use my words to create physical things. But be careful when you use words that contradicts my word, then you are abusing the power that I gave you by creating destructive physical things to manifest in your life. So as long as I'm speaking God's word, that word has the ability to create physical things for me. But the moment I speak words contradicting to the word of God, then I, with my own choice, has caused self-destructive things to come into my life. So now my question is, is God partial? He has given to everybody the same word. He has given everybody the ability to speak. He has given everybody the seed called the Bible. But how many people It was a good example. Blossom is saying, keep my bag there. She was saying. <laughs> she did not give up. She told her no, but she did not give up. She said. Then she took and kept it there. Now, does the word speak to us the same? 
She said, no. Did she agree with that? No. She insisted. Now, you mean to say there's no place here? There is. But she wants the bag there. In the same way, everybody has been given the same Bible. But not everybody is opening the same Bible. Everybody has come here to listen to the word. But not everybody is interested in the teaching. But everybody is interested in, when will I get my healing? If a person understands the reason I've come here is to learn the system. Let's say now the power is gone. But outside the power is there. If you are an electrician, you can solve the problem. If you're not an electrician, you can solve the problem by telling that person, I'll check whether the current is there. You put the switch on when I touch. Correct? Right or wrong? So if you know the system, will you use the system? Has anybody learned the system from his mother's womb? No. What about Jesus? Hey, what about Jesus? Hmm? How many of you know how did Jesus learn the system? Can I tell you how he learned the system? Can I show you? Give me Hebrews 5, 7 and 8. Let's see how did Jesus learn the system of his father. And then you ask yourself, are you willing to learn the system as Jesus learned? Hebrews 5, 7. Yes. Jesus, in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers, and supplication with how many of you knew that Jesus spent the night crying and just crying or loud crying loud crying and tears unto his father who was able to save him from death so every day and night Jesus prayed to God to save him from death. And he cried with strong cries and tears. Why was Jesus praying to God to save him from death? Because if Jesus dies anywhere else other than the cross, you and I cannot be saved. He has to die on the cross. Because that cross is where the penalty is going to be paid. And Satan is trying his best to kill Jesus every day and night. Listen. God gave dominion to Adam. Adam disobeyed God and the dominion on earth is now with Satan. So when God said, I have given you dominion on earth, God himself can't come on earth to take dominion because he'll break his own word. Because by his word he said, I've given it to you. He cannot come. For him to come and interfere in my life, he has given me a system called prayer. So when I open my mouth and I ask God for help, now he can interfere in my affairs. So look at Jesus asking his father every night with strong crying and tears, asking him to protect him from death. And the Bible says, God heard his prayer and saved him from death, but not saved him from death on the cross. So can you see that Jesus opening his mouth and speaking words of prayer and asking his father to intervene in his affairs so that Satan does not kill him. Praise God. 
Are you with me? Did he pray for himself? Yes. And did he pray for us? Yes. That's what it says. Just, just put up. Seven, seven, seven. I've not yet finished seven. When he had offered up prayers for himself and supplications for mankind. And the Bible says, he was heard. Then he says, and was heard in that he feared. Jesus did not want to die anywhere else, but to die on the cross where he prays the penalty to the full. And how did he learn this? Look at the next line. He learned, though he was a God, though he was a son, Yet, he learned, he learned, how? So when you are in a trial, when you are in suffering, when there is a tribulation, when there is a opposition, that's the time you get trained to learn to obey. If there's no battle in your life, you don't learn. You really learn building up your spiritual muscles in times of trials. Praise God. So Jesus won the battle on the cross. But what did he win? He reversed what Adam lost in the garden. He reversed that same and gave it to us by his obedience. So when I believe what Jesus finished on the cross, I receive everything from Christ, but reverse to what I received from Adam. Do you get that? So you have the dominion once again given to you by Christ, and that's why he says, all authority, all power in heaven and on earth is given unto me. Did he say before his death or after his death? After his death. And that's why he says, because it has been given it to me, I give it to you and with this power, I want you to go and preach and make disciples of people. So are we interested in making ourselves disciples or are we interested in getting some blessing? A disciple is the one who took admission in a school and is saying I want to study and become like my teacher. He's a disciple. So do we come to a Bible class to become disciple? Or do we come to a Bible class to become, to get healing and blessing? And if you say you come to the class to become disciple, then you are more and more digging inside to study the teachings, the system of the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven operates on confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart. Why does a person confess the wrong thing? The person confesses the wrong thing because his thinking is wrong, his believing is wrong, and therefore his speaking is wrong. And if his thinking is wrong, his speaking is wrong, then the decision is wrong, the action is wrong, and he will always reach a wrong destination. Did you get that? So by the preaching, what happens? Preaching helps me to know the difference between right and wrong. And when I get the right preaching and the teaching, I make a quick correction by which my thinking is right. Now my believing is right. 
my action is right and my destination is right that's why jesus went around preaching the word day and night why he wanted to establish his kingdom and tell the people what you are thinking and what my system is they are not the same and if they are not the same then the result is not the same just give her a mic being disciples means also believing in jesus no no just just so, increase the volume yeah so being disciples is also believing in jesus so, yeah um, you you in believe in jesus now there are many people who believe in jesus does that mean they are disciples okay and then in john 14 16 it says those who believe in me will also do the works that i am doing and 14 12 greater works than i do and you said his disciples will be able to do what uh, jesus so are we doing so i wanted to connect these two and understand if there is so are we doing i'm asking you are we doing why are we not able to do you are a disciple right so my next question is are you doing you believe in jesus does that mean you are a disciple i'll give you the answer give me john 8 30 30 30 30 as jesus spoke these words many so how will people believe how do people believe when words are spoken whose words are spoken jesus is words or some motivation topic Now, what's the difference between Jesus's words and motivational talk? Corporate world, you got plenty of motivation talk. What's the difference between a motivation talk and Jesus's words? Jesus's words, he said, are spirit and life. motivation talk is not spirit and life that's why when you speak god's word there's a demonstration praise god so as jesus spoke these words when he believed on him then 31 then said jesus to those jews which believed on him if you if you believe in me if you believe in me which one do we do i believe in jesus even satan believes in jesus i believe he is the son of god even satan believes he is the son of god hmm he said if you continue in my word why do you wear a mask why do you wear a mask ah so you are still continuing in the infection word how do i know who believes what when i look at the action that's what you believe how do i know i you believe god's word my actions when there was covid i stayed in a house where the husband was positive 
where the wife was positive and I was saying, I want to use the word to see how this word works. So I was staying with them. I was drinking water from their glass, forget about shaking hand and nothing happened. But the Bible says, even if you drink deadly poison, it shall not hurt you. And at that time I was in Dubai. Whenever I found anybody in the team infected, I would go to the house. And I would say, I'll sit with you, I'll hug you, I'll hold you. And tomorrow you'll see me on the TV preaching the word. Because I don't believe what science says, I believe what God says. Science will say, egg is good. After two years, they'll say, egg is deadly. After somebody does the patent, egg is very good. And we believe whatever science says. The next time you go to the doctor, you ask him, supposing I use that phosphorus, you was that phosphorus? You go and ask the doctor, I'm using this phosphorus every day. What happens when I use this phosphorus every day? You know what he'll say? Your immunity is dying so much, next time anything comes to you, you'll be the first one to die. I think I stopped washing my hand before eating food for the last 35 years. Because I was taught in the school, your hands have got germs. You wash your hand before you eat. I don't wash my hand. Because I want those germs to fight with my body every day. I want my immunity to be very strong. So that when the infection comes, others are knocked off, not me. Because I'm preparing my body to withstand. Believe. What do you believe? Because what you believe is what you receive. He said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. So how many people do you find who are continuing in God's word and how many people come to church? What happens to a person who comes to church every day for the last 25 years, never opened the Bible? What? Oh, visitor. So the next time somebody gets infection, what happens to this fellow? He's already filled with fear. But a person who is living on the word, no matter what comes, he's still standing strong, ready for a fight. And that's why Jesus said, the violent take the kingdom of God by force. If you're not violent in your faith, you'll be knocked off first. So everybody who goes to church every day is a disciple. Everybody who says his prayers every day is a disciple. Everybody who comes to a teaching every day is a disciple. How do I know how many believed? When you go out of this door, what you heard, how many put into practice were the only ones who believed? The others never believed. Because when you believe, there will be a supernatural manifestation. In the kingdom of God, nobody can fake the anointing. If you truly believe, the anointing will surely show up. Others, your life is just like every other unbeliever. Clear? And then he says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He never said, and you shall know the truth, and the preacher will make you free. How many people run after preacher? If you have come this afternoon, come for the truth and you will live a life of freedom. You come to the preacher and talk all the facts and the problems of your life, you are actually 
activating the curse. The moment you understood that when I open my mouth and I speak those words, they are proof that those words don't abide in me. I abide in my problems. That's why my mouth is full of problems and facts. You yourself have called self-destruction in your life. So who are the ones who will be set free? Everybody? The ones who learn to speak the truth. And remember, truths can never be changed. They are the same yesterday, today, and forever. What the doctor gave you a report is a fact, it's not a truth. And many people have these facts running in their mind, running in their mouth, running in their life, and they believe those facts, and they speak those facts, they are calling death over their life. But the same people who got the facts are saying, Jesus said the truth will set me free, so I've got to take the word of God, which is the truth, the same yesterday, today and forever, and apply it in my life, and not allow facts to rule over my life. These are the ones who walk victorious. How do you know you are, you are believing or not believing? How does a person know whether he believes the scripture or he doesn't believe the scripture? But before that, how do you know you are a believer or an unbeliever? I said, how will you know you are a believer or unbeliever? There are people who come for the meeting for the last 10 years. They know the scriptures. How do you know? Now, is the word of God saying the one in you is greater than the one in the world? Yes. Are you putting it into practice? we have, are you putting into practice? Ah, try, there's nothing called try. Either you put or you don't put. Give me Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1. How will you know whether you're a believer or an unbeliever? Let us therefore now that fear is not a demonic fear, fear about losing something. So let us therefore fear lest, say that a promise, promise. The kingdom of God is always operating on promises. The new covenant is full of promises. So he says, let us fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his, into his. Yes. So the promise of God gives you rest. Are you all resting on your chair? Yes. Am I resting by standing on my feet? Who is at rest? You or me? You. But who is at rest here? Is it possible for a person to sit on a chair and still have no rest? So a person who is believing is fighting every thought to enter into God's rest by believing the promise that he has given.
and if people don't enter into that rest then surely he will lose the battle so every day your journey is what to enter into god's rest or live your life as it comes so can a person have rest even in the most unfavorable condition and people who don't have rest they can have an inheritance but they will never experience that inheritance even though they believe in god now let me give an example is god almighty is he powerful does everything happens according to god's will come on absolutely no i told you in the morning the bible is a book full of scriptures but those scriptures don't come to manifestation until i agree even though it is god's will it will not come to pass until i choose to agree god brought the israelites out of slavery out of egypt and it is his desire to take them to the promised land did he show them miracles of the miracles did he help them to cross the red sea did he feed them in the desert did he give them water but did the israelites believed in him did they agree with him so did they enter the promised land in the same way jesus has done everything for us on the cross he has given us the promises will those promises come to pass in your life now they come to pass in those people's life who have learned to enter into god's rest even if you have got a inheritance from god a promise of god you will still live a life in lack like a beggar but not like a believer any question george yeah yeah brother ask more george george ah you only want thorn in the flesh i'll give thorn in the flesh later on let me first preach this thorn in the flesh is nothing but a messenger of god who stopped paul from preaching and that's why that is a thorn in his flesh come on imagine for them a land flowing with milk and honey and nobody could enter in look at the next line for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them the israelites but the word which did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it moses preached to them and said god has given us this land flowing with milk and honey but it did not profit them today also god is teaching you through his word and preaching to you through his word and is saying only those who believe and enter into my rest will see my glory not everybody So what's your labor? Your labor is to fight to enter into his rest believing those promises because your senses will speak against those promises. So when the doctor gives you a bad report 
are you at rest or terrible unrest so you got a well having eternal life that has the power to bring complete healing and freedom from that sickness but because of believing the fact and refusing to believe the truth you end up with unrest and those who are in unrest will profit nothing yes i knew it give me a mic please brother i was just trying to connect with one another lovely lovely uh, i was trying to connect with some other word of god uh, psalm 91 psalm 91 first line the first was that says uh, he who dwells in the dwells in the secret place of the most high so is this the same like the same uh, being in rest uh, or i can be in the secret place of the most high by believing in him and being in when, rest when you are in rest you are in the secret place yes. that secret place would be like a mother hen she lifts her wings and all the chicks go underneath and they peep from down and they can see the crow can the crow snatch those chicks under the mother's wings the chicks can see the crow but the chicks are at rest under the wings of the mother yeah are you at rest under the wings of your father heavenly father who are the people who enter the rest who are the people who enter the secret place of the most high those who believe those those who believe in the word of god those who have faith the word of uh, faith okay let me show you if anybody wants to enter the secret place of god for a husband and wife what is which is the secret place husband and wife no she still doesn't know can the third person come into the bedroom so so god has got a secret place and he wants to take each one of us to the secret place how will you enter the secret place of god when we meet the next time i will give the answer till then homework i told you whenever i ask you a question the answer is in that question put a psalm 91 now that you brought i'll show you how to enter the secret place of the most high god He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hold on. Who? He. He. That is you and me. And he gives you the answer. How do you get into the secret place of the Most High God? Nothing like that. See. is giving you the answer was number 2 was number 2 who is that i who is that i i so for me to enter the secret place i will say to god you are my refuge you are my god you are my fortress you are my god in you i trust the moment you say that and you believe those words you are in the secret place of the most high god the whole psalm 91 works on verse number 2 if you miss out verse number 2 the psalm 91 will not work for you 
So how many of us have made God your refuge? How many of you have made God your fortress? The next time the enemy shows up, he has to break through the fort to come and touch you. God is your fortress. God is your refuge. God is your God. And in him, I, I, I trust. What is trust? Divine mercy, Jesus, in you, I trust. What is trust? I think I should take revision over here. Blanca, what is trust? If I ask your mom, she'll give me the answer. Blossom, what is trust? I think I'm taking an oral exam where students don't even look at my face. What is trust? Will he? Those who are cameramen, they're, they're excluded. She said, why catch him? Yeah, what is trust? What is trust? Complete? Okay, something more. Trust? 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 Clara, are you looking at the notes? Yes, Clara, tell me, I trust you. I put my trust in you. I'm not asking him. I'm asking you. Trust? Trust. The, the problem is, we use words, but we have not learned the definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, Fatima, you are coming to a right answer. Yes, no matter what happens. Not complete. Hmm? Believe me without. Are, I am giving you so many times the example of Cedric, Meshach and Abhidnegu. The furnace was heated up. Did that change the attitude? The king said, I'm going to throw you into the furnace. Did that change the attitude? They said to the king, listen, if our God saves us, praise God. Even if my God doesn't show up and save me, my commitment to God is not based on he coming and saving me or not. My commitment to God is not based on the end result. My commitment to God is my relationship with God. So trust is commitment. No matter what happens, I don't change my commitment. That's trust. So are we people committed? Or are we people when the pressure starts? So that's what he says, God, you are my refuge, you are my fortress, you are my God, and in you I trust. And because I do these four things, surely I know and I know that you shall deliver me from every snare of the fowler. So does everybody get delivered from the snares of the fowler? But those who have made God their refuge, God their fortress, God their God, and they trust in Him, no matter how big the battles are, you shall surely be delivered from the snares of the fowler. So the devil knows that. So to stop you from getting your deliverance, what will he do? He'll put so much of pressure on you 
that you will change your commitment yes what trust trust is no matter what happens to me i'm still committed to my god if it is in my favor i'm committed even if it's not in my favor it's against me i'm still committed so when you see the paul the apostle is he having faith in god or is he trusting in god saint paul is having faith in god or trust in god so which one is higher faith is high or trust is high trust is extremely high you start with faith and your journey goes on and on and on till you reach a point of trusting god and those who trust in god can never ever be moved by trials or storms of life so when you see people who are ready to be martyred the other people who are trusting in god even a big gang comes or crowd comes and put them in the prison or torture them they are trusting to god with their commitment and that is what we are called for that's when psalm 91 works for you praise god so god needs some commitment so let me talk about something about commitment okay give me 2 corinthians 4 13 to corinthians 4 13 no no match is your relationship with god and and when you get into battles you don't become a good captain on a ship where there is no storm you become an excellent captain when he faces storms every day so the point is psalm 91 verse 1 and 2 psalm 91 verse 1 and 2 right it's different in i confessing that word every single day it's there's a difference in me confessing that word every single day saying psalm psalm 91 every single day and then to reaching up to that level of trusting in the lord i mean, trusting I can, in god i can say in psalms 91 trusting in god is simple how much am i committed to god no matter what happens i'll give an example but how is that simple I'll, i'll give an example no when people ask me for the date i have to give a date one year before so no matter what happens on that day i will be there even if i'm in the other part of the world what is that commitment commitment the person who has taken the date puts his trust in me because he knows that i'm always committed to come in the same way god is looking at you how much are you committed to my word that's trusting in the lord okay but um i might not reach up to um god's expectation of that commitment could be of multiple see, reasons see right? the commitment is simple my top priority is nobody in this world but god that's why i'm committed to him if there is rain i'll still be there if this summer i'll still be there if there are relatives come from to my house i'll tell them you wait there but i'm committed to my god god is looking for those who can trust him god so when people ask me when will you come and i can give you a date after one year So no matter what happens I'll be there on that day that's commitment to my god so if i'm committing myself to the scriptures in every scripture that god even if it works for me or it doesn't work for you or for me 
in my favor or against my commitment to believe your word will not change my commitment to speak what you promised me still continues even though i see everything coming against me and we have to practice to get that to see the glory of god your battle is not when will i get the victory your battle is this is what god has promised me and this is what i'm going to hold on no matter what comes against me i will still continue in my commitment to speak what god said and not speak what other said and when you get into this commitment that's the time you see the supernatural glory of god you win the battle or you lose the battle by the words coming out of your mouth how do you know that you that you are believing or unbelief or, or you are with unbelief by the words that you speak your communication to one another that's when you are using god's word and we learned the word of faith is near you in my mouth and in my heart so if my word is not the word of god in my mouth and in my heart then i have just spoken the word of fear and when i speak the word of fear god doesn't get into action satan gets into action and brings self destruction in my own life now all throughout our life when we were in school what did the school teach us to believe things seen or believe things not seen they also took us to the lab and said observation and then you wrote everything so we are trained to live by faith or by sight a person who is trusting in god is saying even though i have been trained to live by sight i refuse to live by sight from now on i live by the faith in the word of god so when i open my mouth i'll speak only what god said and not what i feel does that require practice surely it requires practice so 2 corinthians 4:13 we having the same spirit of faith yes now it can be silly but in silly god can teach many things do you know god gives me silly examples to make me understand complicated matters so he said trust is higher than faith loudly he said trust is much higher than greater than faith one minute one minute so you said trust is much what's the number than... what's the number 2 channel 2 yeah he said trust is much greater than faith so when that lady with hemorrhage came to touch jesus she had faith and she touched she had, jesus she she did not have faith she had trust but jesus because, said your faith has healed you Why because because say, because because if she comes out in the open she can be in stone to death when you go in the open when people recognize you you got a bleeding problem and they stone you to death will you take that chance and even after she got a healing will she say will you say i had a bleeding problem and the whole crowd is there and jairus is there who has the authority to judge you and stone you to death will you open your mouth and say i had bleeding problem uh, why didn't jesus say your trust in me has healed you or why didn't he say jairus don't be afraid jesus, have jesus. trust in me Jesus has never said any way your trust has led you it starts with faith and grows into trust for me that lady trusted in Jesus Jesus said your faith has healed you see your faith has healed you correct now let's take that woman's example when she opens her mouth and she says i got a bleeding problem and i and i touched your garment and i got healed 
Is she confessing with her own mouth that she has a bleeding problem? Yes. Yes. Now in those days, if a woman has got a bleeding problem, she's unclean. How many people do you think she touched in the crowd? Correct. How many did she touch Jesus, the prophet of God? And Jairus got the news that his daughter died because of her testimony. She wasted his time. Now can Jairus give a command that this lady confessed with her own mouth she had a bleeding problem? So, can she be put to death? How many people in her, her place would have shared the testimony? They would not have dared. Do you understand now? That is why after she shared her testimony, Jesus never said, you are healed. He said, you are made whole means what you testify right now not only give you a physical healing it healed you in every area of your life she felt she was physically healed but when she testified Jesus said your faith your trust has made you whole in finances in health in relationship everything you lost is all restored to you so that's what trust does. So we start with faith, but we end up in trust, where the person is saying, I'm committed to you. So how many people do you find are committed to the word of God? You gave him the mic, don't take it from him. Give one to George and one to him, but don't take it home, it won't work. You heard what I said? If you take that mic home, it won't work. One minute, one minute. George, did you hear what I said? If you take this mic, it won't work. If you want, you try it. The reason it won't work is the receiver is there. If you don't get the receiver, it won't work. In the same way, the Bible is what God spoke and you are the receiver. Unless the receiver receives the signal, it won't work. Yeah. The paralyzed man was brought down from the roof. Hmm. He did not see. I'll tell you, I'll put you across like this and lower you down. Do you want to sleep there? What I'm saying, Jesus saw their faith and healed. Correct, correct. Will you want to, anybody to lower you down, reverse? Do you have the guts to go on the top? That's what is trust. Just imagine the person is sleeping, looking towards heaven, and four people are lowering. If one of them leave loose, the bed will go. You've got to use imagination, what will be the condition. Yeah, ask. So brother, for the manifestation, right, you need to go to the level of trust or means if you believe and have faith, right, if you... See, what's the difference between faith and trust? Let's, let's do that. Then it settles. Faith says, what God has promised me, I've received it. But I don't have physical evidence. I have the evidence in the promise of God is faith. Okay? Trust is God has promised me but I want to be committed to God that my relationship with God is not going to change based on whether it's coming in my favor or not coming in my favor. My relationship with God is the same. Now what happens to faith? When faith is not manifested, I start wavering. And when something goes wrong, I can even break my relationship with God. 
but a person who is trusting in god is saying whether i live or die i am committed to god that's trust so it starts with faith and as your journey goes with god you come to a stage where now you are saying god i trust in you is that clear that's clear my commitment is not based on what i get from god my commitment with god is that i have a relationship with you for what you did for me on the cross that's my commitment to you whether i get blessed or not whether i get healed or not i trust in you a person who is trusting in lord will always experience the furnace getting heated seven times that's what happened but even though the furnace was heated seven times did that bring fear in the three friends because a person who is trusting in god is not depending on the result his dependence is in his relationship with god so even though they were caught and thrown into the furnace did they fear death they were rejoicing what happened to the king who saw them in the furnace he saw that there is a fourth man in that furnace so when you are a man who is trusting in the lord there will always be the fourth man the son of god in that furnace with when a person is trusting in the lord his commitment will see to it that the fire in the furnace did not touch them and you will also see people who trust in the lord will bring conversion in people's life excellent example is stephen when he's being stoned to death what is stephen saying god save me he is saying i can see jesus not sitting standing at the right hand of the father who were they beating stephen jesus who was sitting is now standing and what did stephen say father forgive them do not hold the sin against them who was watching him saul who had the scriptures who was the champion in scriptures saul but what is he seeing this man stephen he is not a educated man he is a simple man how can this man who is being stoned to death have so much of mercy and love towards those people who are coming and killing him that's trusting in god and that's where the seed was planted in st paul the time of saul and the seed planted brought conversion in paul stephen sacrificed his life but saul got born again and through that saul i don't know how many people got born again so you go and see the history of the church wherever people who are trusting are martyred and the blood is spilled that whole area is transformed and converted because of the blood of the martyr can i preach hmm i don't know praise god so is that clear so which kind of people are we faith people or trust people that's why we keep wavering faith people keep on wavering trust people they will die the apostle of faith people are wavering on the day of jesus is death they were faith people that's why they ran away but after the day of pentecost do you find them running they are ready to die they are ready to face we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe therefore have i spoken we also believe therefore we speak 
do you have the same spirit of faith that Jesus had? The Bible is saying same. So the same spirit that Jesus had is the same spirit that God has given to each one of us. And when Jesus had the same spirit of faith, did he speak what God said or did he speak what he saw? So did Jesus believe what his father said or did Jesus believe what he saw? So do we have the same spirit of faith? So what do we do? Do we believe what God said or do we believe what the doctor said? I don't know. Most of the time, which one do we believe? What God said or what doctor said? And if we are believing what doctor said, then we will receive what the doctor said or we will receive what God said. So you first commit yourself. Whom do you want to trust? So if you trust God and you speak what God said, you will receive what God said. Praise God. Please write down. Two Corinthians four thirteen says we having the same spirit of faith. According as it is written. I believe and therefore I have spoken. I have spoken. We also believe and therefore we speak. We have to commit ourselves to believe and speak what God said. And therefore, never again, and therefore, never again will I ever confess, and therefore, never again will I ever confess, I can't. Therefore, Never again will I ever confess I can't. So people who trust in God will never ever confess I can't. Why? Why? We, we learnt, we learnt in Hebrews 4.1 the promise of God is given that we enter into his rest. So never again will I ever confess I can't. Why? Because Philippians 4.13 says, I can do, I can do, I can do, I can do all things in Christ Jesus who strengthens me. So if you can do all things, can you go out and preach? Can you go out and cast out demons? Can you go out and heal the sick? But the question is, do you trust him? Why? 
I was thinking about you yesterday after I went and I said, God, you showed us such a grand lesson. Hey, how's your back, Wilson? And how much time did you get take to fix his back? So is God promising you that you can do all things? So how many times do you confess with your mouth, I can't? And when you confessed, I can't, did you speak a commitment to God? Or you speak against God's word? So how many times do we confess again and again, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So are you trusting in God's promise? And that's why the potential to do those things is in you. But because you say, I can't, you will never move forward, but you will quit and go backward. When I was given the mic for the first time on my wedding day, I could not speak. And the speech which was written by one of my uncle, I lost that paper. How funny you people are not even feeling sorry for me. And I was sweating. And all my relatives and friends were watching me and I could not speak. But the day I received Jesus as my Lord, God, and Savior, and he told me, come on, let's go, and you're going to preach. I don't know what happened. But from then on, I can speak and speak and speak and speak and speak. Who, who is the one who gives me this power to speak? So from now on, will you ever confess, I can't? Might be you don't know cooking. What will you say? I can't do cooking. <laughs> but that's not what the Bible says. It says, don't ever say, I can't, because Christ in you is empowering you to do all things from within. I'll give an I'll give an example. Can you see my shirt? Hello, can you see my shirt? I'll show you a miracle. Hello, are you ready? My hands are empty. Now look at this miracle. My right sleeve, I'm talking to my right sleeve, go up. What did you see? Did you see my right sleeve go up? Praise God. Left sleeve, stay at 90 degree. How is it happening? And she is saying because the shirt you are wearing and you are putting your arm up, the sleeve is going up. But the same shirt on a hanger, if I say right sleeve go up, will it go up? So my sleeve can go up only if my hand is inside. In the same way, Christ who is in me is making me do all things because he's the one who strengthens me from within. You like the magic show? 
But that's how he gave me an example. He said, take that same shirt, put it on a hanger, and tell the sleeve to move out. Like somebody said, you know, uh, years back, in my house, the chair goes like this, by itself. The drawers open by itself. The spoons go by itself. I'd seen in a horror movie I'd never seen in life. And I said, I'm coming right now. Who will miss a chance like that in real life to see? In a movie you have seen. If you get to see this in your real life, will you lose that chance? Blossom? Really? So it was about nine o'clock. We had just finished and this lady called up and she said, I said, I'm coming right now. So there was a brother behind me on my bike and I said, we are going to see the real horror show. I've seen it in movies I've never seen in life. We are going there. He said, are you sure you are supposed to go there? He said, I want to see with my eyes. So we went there. And when you are a preacher, there is one advantage. You get good thing to eat. So she gave us a good snacks and the soft drink. We finished everything. Now she said, let's pray. I said, I did not come to pray. I came to see. So she said, what do you mean you came to see? I said, I've seen it in horror movies. I've never seen it in my life. Will this lady be happy or will she be angry? Angry. And I said to her, say, listen, I can pray for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But if you listen to me, what I tell you, you will be a winner. So she said, okay, tell me. I said, you take the New Testament, four Gospels, and the Book of Acts. Five books. Read it loudly in your house. Three times in one month. Put some praise and worship cassette. And three, use some money and bless some poor people. Buy them food or anything. And after one month, I'll come with my team to pray. So she said, okay. After 15 days, I called her up and I said, how is everything happening? She said, I and my son, we finished reading the whole New Testament five times in these 15 days. I said, wow. I said, I'm coming to your house tonight. She said, please don't come. So I said, why? She said, after you went, I was so annoyed with you that I told my, my son, the most foolish preacher or pastor I've ever heard is this foolish man who came to my house to see what's happening. And he came not to pray. It made me more angry. Then the son said to the mother, Mother, did you see how confident he was? He asked you to do something very simple. And he said, after you finish, I will come. He never said he won't come. So why not we do what he tells us to do? And if it doesn't work out, then you can call him a foolish man. So the son and the mother both of them started reading the Bible loudly, four gospel, the book of Acts, and they read the whole New Testament five times. Now, is the word saying that God is looking for somebody's mouth who can speak his word? Hello? God is looking for somebody, human being, who can use his mouth to speak his word. So now their mouth is being used to speak God's word. How long? At least two to three hours a day. And when they are speaking those words every day, do these words have power? Yes. So they did it for three days, for 15 days. 
And when you, whenever you have praise and worship playing 24 hours 7, do you build an atmosphere of God's presence? Wherever God's presence is, is there angels of God or black magic? So when the angels come, when you're opening your mouth and speaking God's word, God's word is God himself. So now the Most High, the Creator, has walked into the house. So when the Creator is in the house, what happens to the fellow who has been in the house for so many years and did not pay a single rupee rent, staying free? He has to leave. I said, he has to leave. Hello, I said, he has to leave. And she, this lady said, you gave me the CD of your teaching. I sent it to my husband in Dubai. He was listening to the CD and he was in the office and suddenly he collapsed on the chair. And because he had a heart disease, they knew it was a heart attack. So they took him to the hospital and they began to do his ECG and angiography and all that. And they found to their surprise that he had blocks in his heart and every block was gone. And I, now I realize he was listening to the CD and he got slain in the spirit. People thought he fainted. First miracle. Second miracle, my son wanted to go to the US. Two times he was rejected. The third time he applied, he got his visa in this 15 days. Third example, third testimony. My daughter had left the home for the last three years and we did not know whether she is alive or dead. She never had a communication with us. But in these 15 days, she called up from Africa and she said, Mom, I'm married. Please forgive me. I have. I had left the house and gone, but I want to. You to forgive me, I'm living happily. She said, brother, these things have never happened in my life. And the fourth thing I want to tell you, a man came and bought my bungalow at a premium price. It is all sold in this 15 days. So I said, can I come to meet you? She said, come to meet me, but don't come to pray in my house. You are the only person who taught me that I can fight. I was a beggar, pleading pastors after pastors. She's not a Catholic. Pastors after pastors. And they came and had to shell out money and everything. But you are the one who came. And you, you came to see. And I said, you know what? I was not scared. Tell me why. Tell me why, why I'm not scared. Tell me why I'm not scared. If this water is here and it goes by itself to the hold, without any human hand it goes. Correct? Will you be scared? Give me another bottle. She's got a bottle and I got a bottle. It goes from here to there. I said, I tell the devil, try this. I can open the bottle and drink. Can you drink? Hey, can you move the bottle from here to there? Yes. Can the devil move? Okay, he moves. But can he drink from the bottle? So I'm better than the devil, no? I think I... Do you believe the one who is in you is greater? I'm the same man who had difficulty in having bath with the door closed. And I'm the same man who began to believe the word of God that gave me the faith to go to that place and say, 
come on, let's get him out. Have you seen that movie, Ghostbusters? Who do you call Ghostbusters? So when there are demons in the house, who do you call? J.C. Allen. Hallelujah. That's how we got a place in, in Goa. A haunted house for seven years. Nobody opened the door. The gate was closed. And when somebody said there's a haunted house, I said, come on, let's run. Let's take it. Haunted houses are always cheap. We're laughing. The rent is very cheap. And we made a deal and we said, we'll get the ghost out. You give us free. And we got the house for seven months free. Hello, what are you looking like this? Who you got inside of you? Christ. So who should be scared? So when we went to the gate, the weeds were big, everything big, and it looked like a pakka, that horror movie style. So uh, the one who was with me, he said, are you sure you're going inside? I said, yes, like the police going inside. Listen, devil, we have been in this house for seven years and did not pay the rent. We are taking over the house and we count up to three. After that, we are coming in. One, two, three. Nothing happened. We opened the lock and the door opened. And all the spider and all that. We were there for seven months, enjoyed it free, and then we handed over the house to others. If you know any house in Bangalore, please let us know. If it is there for sale, I don't mind buying it. Because you'll always get it cheap. Hello. I'm the same person. What is the difference? The difference is the word of God has made the difference. Believing in the word of God has made the difference. That is why you will find when it comes to deliverance, you will never see me shouting. But a person who is possessed will always see me going and hugging that person. God showed me another way of deliverance. Give that person so much of love that the devil gets choked with that love. So that's why when you see on the YouTube, people whose deliverance is taking place, if there's a lady, I'll call some other lady and say, just hug this lady and see what happens. Love destroys the devil. God is love. And love in you will give victory wherever you go. So are you sure now? That Christ in you is the one who strengthens you. What happened to you? The way you are looking as if you are seeing a ghost in me. You are seeing a holy ghost in me. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. So write down Philippians 4.19. Never again will I confess I can't. You wrote that? Okay, write down. Philippians 4.19 Never again will I confess lack. Never again will I ever confess lack. Why? My God shall supply all my need according to my riches <laughs> nobody corrected me when I spoke something wrong according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus 
Tell me, my brothers and sisters, how many times you go and tell everybody, please pray for me, I got some financial crisis. Do you know what you just did? You cursed what God wanted to do in your life. You will never, ever confess lack. There are so many times people come and tell me, please pray for me, I've got financial crisis. What did you say? Put that Philippines, uh, put that Mark 11, 23, and highlight the last line. Mark 11, 23. Ma I just, just underline the last line. He So then, he shall have whatever he says. Tell your neighbor, you shall have whatever you say. <laughs> you shall have. So be careful when you open your mouth. You shall have. So has Jesus given you a blank check? He says, you will have whatever you say. But be careful what you say, because you might be saying the facts and not the truths. You shall have. So if you say, brother, please pray for my finances. I got a lack. How can I pray for you? You are already confessing you got lack. You shall have whatever you say. So do you need prayers or do you need to change your thinking? Do you need prayers or do you need to change your believing? Do you need prayers or do you need to change your speaking? Do you need prayers or do you need to change your Magnify, magnification. What do you magnify? Huh? What do you magnify? So during the break when people come and say, Brother, please pray for me. I got lack, I got financial crisis. Do I need to pray? Or do you need to first change your thinking? Do you need to change your words? Mine is to get changed. Okay, 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 okay. Which will change first? The mind will change first or the words should change first? I'm asking you a practical question. Which should change first? The mind should change word or the tongue should change the words first? What is Prasanna's wife saying? Huh? What should change first? Put the Joshua 1.8 and sure. Put the Joshua 1.8. What should change first? Richard, you came a little late. I was going to flung the chair, chair, but there was no camera man to take the shot. And it would go and hit her only, directly like this. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mind. 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 What is that mind? The day you master your mouth, 
then only you can master your thoughts. If you don't master your mouth, forget about mastering your mind. Don't think about it, it will not work. First teach your tongue not to speak facts, problems, but teach your mouth to speak truths, promises of God, day and night, then only you can meditate on the word day and night. So what comes first? That's why Jesus said, you shall have whatever you say. The problem is with saying. If your saying is right, then your mind will work in that same direction. So what's the first thing you need to do? Teach your tongue to speak your problems. So if you teach your tongue to speak the truth, do you need to go to a preacher and say, pray for me? If you know the system, will you use your tongue to plant God's seeds? So when you start speaking the words out of your mouth, will your ears hear? So when your ears will hear, who will come? Faith will come. Faith enters the mind or faith enters the heart? Heart. When the faith enters the heart, it has the power to wash your thinking. That's when you meditate on the word day and night. And when you have mastered your tongue and mastered your mind, now you don't have to bother because the mastery in your mouth and mind will release the power to obey the word of God. You receive the power from the word to obey the word. And it is in obedience to the word that you, not God, you, not God, you will make your way prosperous and successful. God never said he will make your way prosperous and successful. He said you will make your way prosperous if you first master your tongue, which will help you to master your tongue, mind, and these two put together will master your action. This is how you will come out of your addiction. This is how you will come out of any kind of weakness or bad habits. And when you do these three, you will have two things. Prosperity and success all the days of your life. So how many people want to meet me after the break? Do you want to come out of your bondage permanently or be a beggar all your life? I used to be. I used to go to all the ten lines and I used to tell them all to pray over me. But the day I re realized that it is me who believe, it is me who does that one, two and three, God says, then you will make your way prosperous. Just put that down according to all that is written in it. Is it given? Then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have great success. God never said he will give you prosperity and success. He said, when you apply that word in your life, you will have prosperity and success. So what do we do? Do A, B and C or tell the preacher you do A, B and C and transfer the prosperity and success in my account. I tell you the Bible is the most practical book. 
So the next time you come to God and you say, God, I need a miracle. You know what God will say? Are you willing to follow my instruction? The moment you follow his instruction and do what he tells you to do, he has promised you, you shall have whatever you say. Right on the third point. Never again will I confess fear. Never again will I confess fear. 2 Timothy 1 7. 2 Timothy 1 7. For God has not given a spirit of fear. Now, did he say God has not given us fear or spirit of fear? So, is fear an evil spirit? I said, is fear an evil spirit? It is a spirit. It's a demonic spirit. So, when a person is worried, is it an evil spirit? Is it demonic? How many people have treated worry as a demonic spirit? Because it is very common even to the people in the church to worry. But it is absolutely uncommon to people who are in the kingdom of God because Bible says God never gave you the spirit of fear. You got it not from God but from some other source. What has God given you? Power, love and sound mind. So what are you supposed to possess? Fear, a power, love, and sound mind. Why do you have fear? I said, why does a person have fear? Something more? something more. Why does a person have fear? Why does a person have fear? Huh? How does faith come? How does faith come? William? Brother William, come here. William? William? He is sitting there because that is not his name. If it was his name, he would come. Whom did I call? Did he come? He's a fake William. <laughs> but faith is not like him. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Just because I looked that said and I said, William, please come here. Let me check now. William, please come here. William, still a fake. Thank God this time he came. <laughs> Thank God this time he came. Now did William come? When did he come? When he heard me 
call his name even though i did not look at him i looked in a different direction i said william please come here did he get up and come first he did not understand you are his advocate i'll see you after the class <laughs> are you william why you did not come the first time Uh, you are your father william <laughs> praise god this is this is this is a practical way of teaching i might not look at william but the moment william hears his name being called he gets up from the seat and comes in the same way might be you are saying i don't have the faith don't worry even if you don't have the faith do you have the mouth hello do you have the mouth yes. that scripture in the white book load it in your mouth and speak it so loud that your ears got to hear and the bible says the moment your external ears hear the word of god faith comes this brother might not come but faith will surely come means this brother might go to work no so he might not be available but spirit of faith will surely come so how does the spirit of fear come how does the spirit of fear come now now for example the person was sitting behind my bike i said we are going to this place what happened to him he said are you sure you are going to that place i said yes and i gave him the same example the devil can't drink water i can drink if he turns the water from here to here what is so special even i can turn it from here to here wo ek da nana patekar ka ek picture tha ha in that a eunuch comes and says hey then so he said acha me bhi kar then correct na so just because the devil is doing this i also can do this what is there when you renew your mind to that what god has said you live a fearless life and when i saw him do that then i <laughs> i see that so how many of us are looking into the bible and saying lord you did it i'll do the same then i praise god why do you get fear because you are listening to things not from the source but from some other source that is destroying your faith how many of you watch tv other than the word of god entertainment now what goes in from the tv not knowing is now building up many things inside of you that it takes a long time to throw it out during my days when i was in depression the movies that i had seen if in, in my childhood when i would have videos either i'll pick up wwf every day i used to watch every day not missing a single day or i would watch horror movies when my time of depression the very movies i had seen became real in those days and that's why i had fear tremendous fear to stay even in the bathroom with the door closed because those seeds were which were planted in those days now began to germinate and grow and actually show me things right before my eyes 
and I would scream with fear. But praise be to God. When I came to the Lord and he began to show me the system, he reversed everything on the other side. And now I could see the glory of God because I learned a lesson. I use my tongue to speak God's word. I use my mind to think God's word. When I do these two things, he gives me the power to do what the word says. And now when I do the what the word says, I find myself moving in the direction of success and prosperity every day. You are seeing a serial. We direct the serial in people's life using the word and setting the captives free. Praise God. And I want to tell you, it's been now 25 years. I've never been broken a single day in my life. In spite of paying all the bills, never had to borrow money but this word is so real there was a time there was a time for me to have breakfast I would take a glucose biscuit packet five rupees big one dip it in water and eat that was my breakfast and then go to the factory and work today I paid the bills of so many breakfasts, so many lunch, so many things, and yet there's no lack. I liked your clapping, but your clapping did not impress me. What impresses me is you coming and telling me, hey brother, what you taught me, I also did. And here is the head of Kolath. I've come with the Kolath. I will clap for you. That is what I want to see. I don't want you to clap for me. I want you to bring the head of Goliath. We all will clap together. And that should be a testimony. Never again in my life I will ever confess a fear. Because God has never given me the spirit of fear. Do you understand that? So keep watching the Bible. She'll give you instructions. Follow every day those instructions. When I meet you, you'll be saying, I'm also casting out demons. I'm also healing the sick. I'm also preaching the word. And supernatural things are happening in my life. That's a Christian life. And this Christian life is for everybody. It's not only for the preachers. It's not only for the priests. It's not only for the nuns. It's not only for the religious. It is for everyone who believes in Jesus. And it's not happening because there is so much of unbelief inside of us. I can say this is your birthright. This is your inheritance. So when we go into the villages, especially when I go to Africa, the witch doctors are standing in front trying to put spell. And it doesn't affect us. Why? Because I believe one thing. The one who is in me is far greater than the one who is in the world. So when the priest says, these people have come to put a spell on you, I say, it won't affect me. Because I know whose I am. I know who is in me. I know my identity in Christ. Why should I fear? Praise God. So will you ever confess with your mouth, I've got a lot of fear, brother. What you confess 
is what you get. Praise God. The next one. Never again will I confess doubt. Never again will I confess doubt and lack of faith. Never again will I confess doubt and lack of faith. Romans 12, 3. God has dealt with every man the same measure of faith. Give it. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man, to every man, to every man, to every now woman is included in that man, to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt according as God has dealt to some man to some man a measure of faith. A measure of faith. A. 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 William, is it a or the? That means to every person without any discrimination, without any partiality, God has given to every man the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Then why is not everybody experiencing, even though God has given to every man the same measure of faith? The lady in yellow, please come here. Are we meeting for the first time? Never met me before? Never heard my preaching before? Yeah, please stand here. Fresh person. Sit down, sit down. No, no, no. I'm just introducing to you. She has never met me before. She has come for the first time. Now, do you believe that God has given you the same measure of faith. Yes. What? Yes, yes, give her the. Yeah, tell us. You need to talk a little louder. Check, check. A little louder, man. Is this louder? Thank you. Talk, talk. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Check. It's like a conjuice, not giving you the volume. Yeah, now talk. Okay. No, talk now. Yes, I do believe God has given me a measure of faith. The same measure of faith. Son, can you hear your mother speak? <laughs> She's speaking too softly, right? Hmm? Yeah, can you speak a little louder that your son can hear? You? God has given me the measure of faith, yes. The measure or the same measure of faith? The same measure of faith. Okay. That girl with the yellow dupatta, I can see her right in the gap. Don't look behind. Yeah. She has also come for the first time, I believe. You have come for the first time? Ah, come here. Come here. 
फर्स्ट टाइम वट हैव यू कम फॉर आई यू सिक इन योर बॉडी वॉट Hearing issue. Hearing issue. Yes. Is here. Yes, I have my doctor who is better. He is here. He is three years old. And where is he? He is at home. I came from Hindu background. Nobody believes. No, no, no problem. Jesus died for the Hindu also. Okay, okay. Your child is not here, so I'll have to call somebody else. That lady with the black. Black color dress, yeah. Is it is it black? It's the black color dress, no? How come she doesn't believe it's it's blue? Oh, from here it was looking black. I'm I'm so sorry. From here it was looking black. Forgiven. Yeah, yeah, it's blue. From here it was looking black. Okay, okay, but I I made a mistake. Okay, do you have any problem in your body? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, you are talking. Suddenly the sound became loud. I started looking from where it came. Yeah. But little, little. Okay, something is there. Ah. So, so now you came for that healing of that. Then. So only that problem is there, or there are joint problem. That is gone. Any other joint problem or something? Because I want to show the sister the measure of faith that she can use and heal you. I'm looking for one one patient. God give me one. You got any problem? Why is it God that you bring healthy people here? Ah, you got it. Come, come. So you got nothing. Okay. So, all this, and you also stand here. Hey, give me one more. God, give me one more. God, give me one more. Yeah, come, come, come. Who? Ruina who? Ruina who? Take a name, no. No, you wait here. This is your client. Come, come. Just take his video when he's walking. Please, please don't miss that. Come. What has happened to your leg? Diabetic. Foot amputation. Big toe, big toe has been removed. We, I'll teach you to pray, and his leg will be restored. Are you ready? You speak English? Yeah. No, you are not looking at my face. Not talking. Actually, English. Kannada. Telugu, I am just Telugu. Telugu, no problem. I'm not a Telugu expert. No, no, Kannada expert, Malayalam expert, Telugu expert, Tamil expert. Which one you want? Telugu illa, Kannada illa. If I 
tell you to pray. Can you pray that prayer? Will you repeat the words that I speak to you? Yes. Okay. We'll start with her, the measure of faith, then you start with him. Okay. I want you to understand, even though you're Hindu and you believe in Jesus, the words coming out of your mouth is able to heal him. Okay. We'll start with her. Have you ever healed people? But you are saying I got the same measure of faith. From today we'll start. From today we'll start. Okay. Hold his hand. Close your eyes. And believe you are an apostle. Okay. Close your eyes brother. And say this. Lord Jesus. You only listen. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Please forgive me. All these years, I did not know the word. I did not know the truth. I did not know that you have given to everybody. You have given to everybody the same measure of faith. The same measure of faith. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. You called me by my name. You called me by my name. To teach me. To teach me. To exercise. To exercise. My faith. My faith. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. For this brother. For this brother. Whom you gave me. Whom you, ga whom you gave me. To pray for him. To pray for him. So, Father. So, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With the measure of faith. With the measure of faith. That I have received. That I have received. I speak. I speak. To every organ of his body. To every organ of his body. Be completely restored. Be completely restored. Be completely recreated. Be completely recreated. Especially his legs. Especially his legs. The knees, the knees, be reconstructed. Be reconstructed. I speak. I speak to the ligaments. To the ligaments. Tendons. Tendons. Cartilages. Cartilages. Be recreated. Be recreated. I speak to the joints. I speak to the joints. Be lubricated. Be lubricated. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I speak to all his bones. I speak to all his bones. To be aligned. To be aligned. And go back to your rightful position. And go back to the rightful positions. All the nerves. All the nerves. Be loosed now. Be loosed now. And every pain. And every pain. Get out of his body. Get out of his body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I have spoken the words. I have spoken the words. And Jesus you said. And Jesus you said. I shall have. I shall have. Whatever I say. Whatever I say. I declare. I declare. By the wounds of Jesus. By the words of Jesus. By the wounds of by Jesus. By the wounds of Jesus. This brother. This brother. Is completely healed. Is completely healed. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now do this harder. No, 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 I don't set it for better. Do it again. Give a jerk. Harder jerk. Give a harder jerk. One more time. One more time. And now bend, now bend and see. Now bend and see. Put all your weight. Put all your weight. How much is there out of 0 to 10? How many points are gone? 6 points. Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes and say, Thank you, Jesus. I'm completely healed. Say it 10 times. Thank you, Jesus. I'm completely healed. 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 Okay, now march. Keep marching. Keep marching. Lift your legs even more. Even more. Even more. 
Now, do you have any pain? Which one? This one. And this one? So, out of ten, now you have reached to eight or nine? Eight only. Okay. Now, this is one more time. You say, thank you, Jesus, and it will all be gone. Thank you, Jesus. I I'm completely been, healed. I am completely healed. Thank you, Jesus. I am completely healed. Thank you, Jesus. I am completely healed. Thank you, Jesus. I am completely healed. Yeah. Now check. Much better. Did you ever think, why are you smiling so much? Just look at her. She is smiling so much. What happened? Huh? I'm just so happy. Because you never knew God has given you the measure of faith. Such a measure of faith, yes. Yeah. And you never knew that words coming out of your mouth can heal a person. And instead of speaking God's word, you are speaking facts the whole day. So, so has God taught you something? Yes, he has. Did you ever think, how long you suffered, my brother? From November. Oh my gosh. So do you need to study the word now? Yes. No. Yes. You know, when you're crying for him, that's compassion. That's love. And, and when a person is flooded with love, Satan cannot do his dirty work in that place. So from now on, what do you need? To increase that measure of faith. He has given to everybody the same measure. Now when you study the word, you start getting more and more knowledge. It increases the grace of God. Okay? Now watch this. She is a Hindu girl, come here for the first time. And here is a man who has got a diabetes and his leg is amputated. Now watch this. When a Hindu girl believes and speaks the same measure of faith, Bring ceiling to my brother. Hold this mic. Close your eyes. Come, brother. You can hold it in this hand and you can put your hand on his shoulder. Close your eyes. I will tell you the words. Say this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. This is the first time. This is the first time. I have come to your church. I have come to your church. This is the first time. This is the first time. I am hearing the word of God. I am hearing word of God. I do not know. I do not know. You. You. But I am hearing. I am hearing. That you are full of love. That you have full of love. Forgiving. Forgiving. And blessing. And blessing. All those. All those. Who come to hear your word. Who come to hear your word. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. I just now read. I just now Read, read, in on the on the screen, in all on the, on the screen on the screen. You have given to every man. You have given to every man the measure of faith. The measure of faith. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I choose to believe. I choose to believe. You have given me. You have given me the same measure of faith. The same measure of faith. That you had. That you had. The apostles had. Your persons had. The same measure of faith. The same measure of faith. You have given it to me. You have given it to me. As I lay my hands on him. As a. As I. As a I. Lay. Lay. My hands. My hands. On this brother. On this fellow. Your spirit. Your spirit. Your power. Your power. Is flowing into his legs. He is going into his legs. Into his body. Into his body. Destroyed the diabetes. Destroyed. Des destroying the diabetes. Completely. Completely. The pain. The pain. Completely. Completely. And restoring his health. And destroying his. Health. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My brother. My brother. Is completely healed. Is completely healed. Set free. Set free. From diabetes. From diabetes. Forever. Forever. I have believed it. I believed it. I spoke it. I spoke it. 
and lord jesus and lord jesus you have done it you have done it in jesus name in jesus name amen 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 now do something that you could not do so this is uh, something which i haven't been able to do for such a long time traveling for so long okay now walk and come walk like a soldier faster start walking faster the balance will come start walking faster i'll walk with you come on i will not touch you but i'll walk with you i'll see to it that you don't fall come on walk like a soldier come on come on richard did you record the first beginning before and after huh sorry okay leg start to wobble doesn't matter but you're not wobbling when you're walking because it starts but it it did not start and it's not starting this is called as a catwalk Huh? No, no, I don't want you to do that. But there's no wobbling now. The, the, uh, so you change that. Your legs are not wobbling. Come on, let's walk. Your legs are not wobbling. Last round. is there a change in your legs i feel a lot positive uh, uh, i've you, been no no what's happened to you what you are seeing now actually last night i had a lot of pain i wasn't uh, able to sleep and, now and, I and feel when you came from there we watched you how you were yeah, walking because there was a lot of pain still there was a pain and when you were walking yes, i told because him because climbing stairs is difficult so yeah. climbing up to come up here also was quite a it's quite but an now, effort now now when you will go back it will not be difficult you can go down and come back yeah, it will be a tell it yeah. amazing yes yeah. now now are you, are, are you able to stand this long uh, so far so good i mean what I've do you mean by so far so good i've been able to i'm still standing that's a that's, that's the a big miracle part. that's the amazing part of god's yeah, work yeah, yeah, in yeah. my life yeah and how so. do you feel a hindu girl Are you Christian? Yeah, I am. Mean, Times have changed. The Hindus are praying for Christians to get healed. Yeah, I'm very, very grateful that she was able to put her hand on me and pray, which even my a lot of my own Christian brothers haven't done. Yes. So it's it's a it, it, thank you very much. It's really indeed a blessing from God, and I'm so and, ho and, hoping that God will show me. You hold this mic. When you go home, okay, you will lay your hand on your child. and you will tell your child in the name of jesus you are healed and you will talk to the deaf spirit and tell the deaf spirit get out of my child's body and you will never ever come back again my child can hear clearly in jesus name will you do that sure give me a hand give me a five god give me a nice one hard one yaar yeah. one more yeah Will you do that? Sure, I'll do. I believe. You just saw, no? Yeah. Nalla? Yes, I have seen. Ramba? <laughs> Very nice. Ramba? Yes. Sariya? <laughs> no, no, Telugu. I am Telugu, so. You don't know anything about Tamil? Tamil, I don't know. Telugu, English. What do you say for Ramba? Ramba means uh, chala. 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 Ah. Ah. Sariya, Sariya, what do you say for Sariya? Sariya means uh, Sariam. Sari po Hindi. You know. Now. S- s- okay, 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 okay. What do you say for Nalla? What? Bagani. Bondi. Bagani Bondi. He is good now. Bagun Nadu. Ba Bawa Nadu. Bagun Nadu means he is he is fine, good. Your child Bawa Nadu. Bagun Nadu. Thank you. You pray here. Your child Bawa Nadu there. Oh, yeah. Mane. Uh, actually, I am looking.
searching for him i thought my husband will get i am searching for him even if he is not getting the child is baranadu bagunnadu okay he is healed <laughs> thank you brother you want to check one more time okay god yeah. give me one more god give me one more any myself there brother come 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 anybody come 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 yeah you can go brother i am so sorry i have kept you waiting here bawan nadu come yeah you can go back thank you what happened to mummy hmm she got what ego issue all <laughs> we can kill that what ego okay ha huh? knee pain she has got what ego problem she got knee pain are you ready yes i will teach you are you ready yeah <laughs> are you ready <laughs> yeah i also have like two i also have complete leg pain one year from one year you got leg pain for one year yeah i sc- i got skid in water now i am not able to lift and hold my son also from past so one from year so from now on you can hold me and lift me up <laughs> i am not able to walk run if the son is uh, about to fall i am not able to, yeah my husband came so i am not able to walk and catch him also so, suppose if he is about to fall from the cart or so which one we do first yours or theirs 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 first and then yours yes okay now she has got vertigo okay vertigo is when she shakes her head okay everything goes spinning okay okay i'll teach you what to do sure you'll do yeah do you believe jesus loves you Yes, he loves me. I'll I'll call you in five minutes. We'll finish this, and I'll call you. Okay. Okay. If 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 her head shakes, she'll go round and round, round and, and round. she'll fall down. Correct. Okay. Now you believe that Jesus is in you. Just hold this mic. Come on, one minute. You believe that Jesus is in you. You hold her head and say, Jesus, what you go go out like this. So whatever is wrong. as you move will be set right after that everything nalla naidu what is the naidu what do you say for healing ab pagindi you you know her language okay okay hold the head and see this close your eyes close your eyes and say this lord jesus in your name i am holding a leg holding a neck a head and whatever is imbalance whatever is imbalance let it be balanced now let it be balanced now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i thank you jesus i thank you jesus for balancing for balancing in a in a head in our head in a brain in your brain in jesus name in jesus name now move ahead i pray thank you jesus thank you jesus as i am moving ahead as i am moving her head everything is balanced everything is balanced now move more more far and back. come on move tipu tiku tu di the side is side ha side la katta ata patu topu tumne ni ha Ah, uh, enough, enough. Now, now, look down. No, no. Moment, moment. Now look up. Mele, 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 mele. Nothing is going round, round. 
రౌండ్ రౌండ్ పో చక్రం నుంచి పో లుక్ దాట్ సైడ్ స్టాండ్ లైక్ దిస్ లుక్ దాట్ సైడ్ లుక్ దిస్ సైడ్ దట్ సైడ్ దిస్ సైడ్ అప్ డౌన్ చక్కర పో what she is saying i asked uh, how are you how is it is fine can you help me so she went to the hospital to take treatment where are you staying she should come to your house now for taking treatment <laughs> hallelujah nalla baby are you happy you want to give a check okay okay tell mummy to look down alle ben 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 kalle kalle kalu kalu pat but that also is pain is gone just move don't talk to me facts chana dida what do you say for chana dida chana idha i don't forget the chana i know the chana means good chana idha then why are you telling this she is got surgery chana idha okay you can go thank you malayalam Malayalam. Say arthritis. She's asking me for arthritis. Arthritis. Older than. Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For teaching me. For teaching me. to speak your word to speak your word every time every time i speak your word i speak your word out of my mouth out of my mouth the words going out of my mouth the words going on in my mouth out of my mouth out of my mouth has power as power to destroy sickness and disease to destroy sickness and disease heavenly father heavenly father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i speak to this arthritis i speak to this arthritis be destroyed be destroyed killed killed right from the root right from the root right from the root get out of our body get out of our body and i command and uh, command the knees the knees be completely healed be completely healed right now right now knees knees be loosed be loosed be loosed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus that there is no more pain that there is no more pain in jesus name in jesus name amen amen say say that in malayalam kode 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 కొడే 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 ఆన్ ఇస్ట్ షి కెన్ గో టు ఫర్ అ డాన్స్ కొడే 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 పో ఇల్ల కల్లు ఉంటు పెన్ పో ఓకే what a surgeon man get your son now patrick 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 she is the one by the time he comes will fix your leg can i fix 
Fix her leg and then you come. And punch you there. Close your eyes. Come here, you fix her up. Give me the mic. I'll, I'll, I'll hold the mic. Fix her up. You're looking for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have said that wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you are there. And God, we believe you are here. And God, you have said you, in your word that you have sent us to set the captives free and to yes. heal the sick. Father, we believe in your name and we claim your promises in this place. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, this woman that I'm holding hands is free from all her sickness, from the crown of her head to her foot. And I rebuke the infirmity that is in her knee right now in the name of Jesus. Good. You are to be bound and you were made to be bound and cast to the foot of the cross because that is where you belong. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and I cover this, this, this mother of God, this mother with the precious blood of Jesus and she is healed and I claim it in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, now do this higher. Not behind, like this. Ah. Ah, do keep doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 The husband is gone. Now, now, she said she can't lift a child. I can't run. You can't run? Yeah. Richard, are you ready, cameraman? She is going to run this. Uh, 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 I like to trouble Richard. This side. Richard, ready? You tell me when you're ready. You're going to run up to the door and come back. And when you're running, you first say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can run. I can run. Thank you. I can run. Thank you, Jesus. I can run. No, no, no. We learned one. We learned. Never again will I confess I can't. Because it's Jesus who strengthens me from within. So you'll never say I can't. Because Jesus in you is the one who strengthens you. So now Jesus is giving you the strength to run and come back. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Come on, run. No, 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 no. Did you run like this before? No, just, just, just give me the mic. Just give me the mic. Give me the mic. Yeah. No, from one year, I'm, I was not able to come. Only, right, only left leg I can put. But to put the right leg. So, how, uh, how, sure, how were you walking before? Sure. Uh, walking initially. Sure, 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 the demo. Before, how would you run? This leg used to go very straight. I can't, I have to balance, bend, bend like that and balance. Now, now I can see that I am flexibly walking. Moreover, running. Because for my child to hold when, I, when he was about to fall, I used to cry because I'm, I was not able to run. Even one day he was falling from the cot. I am seeing, but I, am, I was not able to hold him because of this leg. I can't. I was unable to run fast and catch him. But whatever I have done today, right, that is a really miracle. 
I never ran before from one year. So shall we pray for your son? Yeah, for my son. I'm. He is having hearing issue. It seems I came to know when he is one year four months. Till now, I am. Uh, I ask everyone to pray for him, whomever I know, because he is not talking. He is uh, more than us. He is feeling difficulty to express. Um, so I came. I saw you in the YouTube in 2019. One doctor told testimony where her daughter was having this issue. I searched, searched, searched. One fine day, for, for three months, I searched in Google, and one fine day, I found this link. From that day, I wanted to meet. I don't know where is where is this JCILM church. I asked my husband in Google. Also, I searched for the I searched for the address. I could not find. But one number I got. One one lady picked up. She told there is no church. It is like uh, some group, and she used to. You don't need to go anywhere. You read Bible. You read Bible. There is no church. I know like church will be there every Sunday. People will go. Only that much I know. Then last two weeks back. Because she had my number, she posted this that uh, brother. I don't know your name also. Sorry, but I just, <laughs> I just, I just remember you by the face. That I tell, I told my husband, same person who I saw in YouTube. I saw yesterday also. I came. I wanted to speak. I wanted to speak to you, but uh, uh, one sister told you are very busy. You wanted to drop your. Uh, Uh, family, come tomorrow. Then I came. I I came here. I asked my husband. I want to come here. Afternoon. I was not getting sleep. I'll go. I'll go. I came. By the time I came, same thing. He was teaching that you don't ask me for pray first. You read Bible, New Testament. There only you will get the answers. Don't ask uh, anybody that pray for me or pray for my son. So, but I really came here for my son to get healed. So this, like that, I found you, brother. Praise. Tell me. Huh. Now all these people who got healed. Yeah. Did you pray or I prayed? I did. I pray. Ah, and I was going to pick up the chair. I'm a very rough person. Even if your husband is there, I'll be there. <laughs> so, if all these people got healed when the words came out of your mouth, yes, will the words coming out of your mouth heal your child? Yes, yes. Did the words come out of your mouth that healed your leg? Yes. So why are you doubting now? Before I was not understanding. After now you understand. I came, now after you gave that uh, speech about uh, read New Testament, don't ask any. So it is like the Bible. You need to go th- because I used to read, but I never used to understand. If you understand, then how will you come here? <laughs> yeah. I will be jobless, no. <laughs> yeah, but because you don't understand, God gave me a job to make you understand, yeah. and I made you understand. Now that lady in yellow is a Christian. Christian, no? Yeah. She is a Christian. You are a Hindu who has come for the first time. Now, Christian, did you see her healing? So, if she can do, what about you? If she can do, what about all the other Christians? So, are you ready? Yeah. Now, you. Can You can hold your child anywhere, even if he is not allowing you to touch. Wi-Fi connection is okay. okay. Okay, so don't get disturbed and force him. You can touch from Wi-Fi distance also. I can touch like this also. Okay, so don't get disturbed. And remember, words coming out of your mouth has power to open his ears. Okay. 
touch him. Or you can you can hold him in your arms. He comes to you. But he likes father more than. Uh, yes, I know that. Uh, Okay, okay, let him, let, let him be comfortable, okay. Okay, okay. You close your eyes, you concentrate, put your hands on your husband, okay. Connection is still going, okay. Close your eyes and see this. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For giving me. For giving me. The same the, measure of faith. The same measure of faith. I saw with my own eyes. I saw with my own eyes. I spoke the words. I spoke the words. Your words. Your words. And so many people were healed. And so many people were healed. In the same way. In the same way. I spoke words. I spoke words. Another brother spoke words. And another brother spoke words. For my legs. For my legs. And they were healed. And they were healed. I now understand. I now understand. You are looking for lips. You are looking for lips. Of people. Of people. Who you can use. Whom you can use. To speak your words. To speak your words. To bring forth. To bring. Miracles. To bring forth miracles. And healings. And healings. So Lord Jesus. So Lord Jesus. I am using my mouth. I am using my mouth. To speak, to speak to the deaf spirit, to the deaf spirit, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, get out of my son's body, get out of my son's body, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my son's ears, my son's ears are opened, are opened, are opened, are opened, he can hear, he can hear. Everything, everything that I am speaking, that I am speaking, his ear drums, his his ear drums are healed, are healed, completely healed, completely healed, and is set free, and he is free, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Amen, 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 Amen. Call him by his name, Surya, Surya, Surya. Surya. One by one. Okay. He's not responding because he doesn't know what we are doing. When you go home, you keep thanking God that his ears are opened. Opened. And you keep talking in his ears. Thank you, Jesus. My son is completely healed. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. My son is completely healed. I won't be there the next time. You all are having a meeting on Saturday? Saturday? What, what time? Which, which place? Yeah, there's a church at the side. 5.30. You bring your son and share the testimony. You will say, you will see that your son can hear. Okay? Next, son, next Saturday, 5.30 in the evening, they'll be there and somebody will give you the number to contact so you can come again. Okay? I'll be in Sri Lanka, but, but from there I will hear my sister give me the testimony that the son is completely healed. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. So both of you lay your hand on your son and keep thanking God that they, they are that your son is completely healed. Okay, thank you. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. How God has to pick this girl right at the back. Hallelujah. Yes, 
is good. Can we all stretch our hands? Loving Father, you have given us the power to preach the gospel. You have given us the power to speak healing to the captives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak healing power to flow into his body. This infirmity that has caused this pain in his body, this manifestation in his body, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command this body to be completely loosed, released, and healed in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Your healing power flows into his mind, into his brain, connecting all the organs of his body, that they are all functioning perfectly the way you created to function. And I thank you for restoring his health. Thank you for restoring his health. Thank you for restoring his health. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is he saying? Okay. Since when did he say? Is it from childhood? Okay, thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, the Bible says there was a man born crippled and Peter spoke to him and said, I do not have silver or gold, but what I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command his body be completely healed. Be completely set free. I want you to go up till there and come back. No, no, don't touch him. You go. Yeah, come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Lord Jesus, I speak that all is shaking is stopped. All is shaking is stopped. He's sober. Go again. Thank you, Jesus. 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 One more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you have healed him completely. Thank you, Jesus. You have healed him completely. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Keep going, it's reducing. Thank you, Jesus. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, much like a soldier. Soldier. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One last round. Thank you, Jesus. 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 How are you feeling? Better? Lord, I pray that his tongue be loosed, that is able to speak words, is able to speak words, Esue. Say that, Esu. Lord, every joint, every organ of his body, let him experience your love. Let him experience your presence. 
Jesus, let him experience your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Thank you. He knows you. Yes. Tell him now Jesus has heard his prayer and Jesus has healed him. So t tell him not to look at that, but to believe that God has healed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand. So William, come here and make a thanksgiving prayer. By the time the choir can get ready. The choir is going to sing? Yes. But it's 5.10. Okay. Come, come William, make a thanksgiving prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all close our eyes and sign ourselves with the sign of cross in the name of the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we give you glory, Lord. For this too wonderful day that you've given us to dwell in your mighty presence, O Lord. Father, your word says where two or more gathered in one accord in your name, you are present in our midst. Father, I thank you, Lord. You sent your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come before these two days, even before we could put up these chairs around here, Lord, to be present in this hall. Look at every chair, every seat here, Lord, where everyone is sitting, Lord Jesus. Jesus, the same way you came before the Samaritan woman could come to the well who was wanting to receive the well which could only fill her thirst for that day. You came here even before we could come here, Lord, so that you can make us realize that the well with the, with the water which spring forth within us is alive is, is within us and you have made us realize Lord that we have to draw this water from within us thank you Lord for this teaching today Lord thank you Lord for showing us the truth and Lord your word says your children are perishing because lack of knowledge and Lord today Thank you for giving us the knowledge of your word, the knowledge of your kingdom and making us realize that we need to seek you more and more. We need to seek you more and more so that we can receive your kingdom. We can understand your kingdom and we know that it is your righteousness that we receive as we continue to seek you more and more, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, for making us realize today even with practical examples Lord that you are not a God who is partial you are the God who has given us the same measure of faith even to my sister who came here and she was used as an instrument for your glory where her hands were used to heal five not one, not two, not three, Lord. Including her. Five different children of yours, Lord. Lord, today 
as we head out lord thank you for your spirit is in us who will never leave us nor forsake us and he will guide us holy spirit we thank you we praise you we glorify you we love you lord we need you more and more and help us holy spirit for jesus said he sent you to be our comforter our helper and you will guide us you will lead us through his word into the right into right direction so as we are heading out of this place today we thank you holy spirit for you guide us with practical examples that we can start putting it into practice and be called the disciple of god not just those who come here who hear the word and just go back and live the old life but lord holy spirit help us to remember this word help us not to forget what we have learned today but holy spirit keep reminding to us shut our ears to the voice of the evil shut our ears to the facts shut our ears to doctors reports shut our ears to the fearful words shut our ears to the wrong reports wrong news but lord keep our ears wide open that we continue to meditate on your word day and night day and night day and night and as we continue to meditate your word day and night from our own voice which has spoken your life giving word our ears hear these words like how papa gave an example calling me my name and looking somewhere else but it was the same name where i had to run and come so lord as i continue to hear, hear your word again and again my mind will receive it and it gets rooted into my heart to bring harvest into your kingdom lord lord i thank you for every testimony that we have seen today lord i thank you for every practical examples that you give us today lord i thank you for using papa as an instrument of your glory lord lord i thank you lord for using every single person who is gathered here lord as an instrument for your glory lord to build your kingdom on this earth lord today i stand in the gap i stand as um stand as a as an example and i stand in the gap for every single person who is there here and i i be the mouthpiece and i speak that every single person here goes out with a mindset to bring many souls into your kingdom because your kingdom is true your word is true your word is alive your word is active it is sharper than a double edged sword which can cut through between the truth and half truth and false and not truth and it can only it will reveal to us every truth that we should know and we will practice it in our life we praise you we glorify you lord for the joy that you have filled in our hearts by letting us know the end result the end result letting us know that trusting in you is the is the is is far more, more greater than faith so lord today we have begin with a faith journey lord lord help us to meditate on your word day and night be rooted in your word day and night so that we increase in our faith and we break this unbelief and reach to that destination of trusting you even in the times of trial temptation and trouble father we praise you we glorify you we thank you lord jesus for all the things that you have done and all the things that you continue to do in jesus mighty and matchless name i make this prayer amen amen and amen a father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us, us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses 
as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, deliver us, Lord, from, from every evil. Amen. The same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Sing your love. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Tell him the same power, same power. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. One more time, the same power, louder. The same power, the conquer, conquer the. Tell him lives, lives in me. Lives in me. Your love, your love. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. One last time, the same power. The same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time, give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful, with a grateful heart. Give thanks, give thanks to the only one, to the Lord. Give thanks, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now, One more time, one last time. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. Thank you, God, for everything that you have done and everything that you continue to do in this place and in our lives. We offer all this in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be word without end. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. 